hello lovely people welcome to my channel so today i will be making this dress for a client this is a very rough sketch that i did based on what she sent to me so this is um, going to guide me with you know planning the pattern and how the dress is going to look but obviously it's going to be way prettier than this but this is what i'll be attempting to make today so if you're interested in seeing how i achieved this dress please keep watching thank you Okay, so I'm going to start by tracing my basic bodies. I'm going to trace it only halfway because the other half, that's the um, skirt part, shall I say, is, is going to be attached. So I'm going to trace only the top. I'm going to trace everywhere from the back to the front. I'm sorry, the paper is all lovely. So, okay, so now I have traced the front and the back bodies. I also traced it all the way to the hip line because I decided... It was probably going to be important in case I did any alterations to the waist that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get my bust radius. And uh, the bust radius for this measurement is three inches. Um, so that's the under bust. Yeah, so I'm going to measure three inches below. And run a straight line. So this will be my underbust. So for my underbust, I'm going to go in. I'm going to remove two inches. So I'm going to remove one inch or one and a half inch. So I'm going to remove one inch from here, right? And then half inch from here. Okay, so I'm removing. All right, then connect that so the connection i like to make it from here which is the true bust line as opposed to here so button at the beat and connect it back to the waist dot so for all for so now I've already gotten my underbust. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is use the neckline. So I'm going to switch, um, close up this shoulder dart because the neckline is a bit open according to the picture. So it's a bit open and this is going to interfere. So I'm going to go down about six centimeters or eight centimeters from the top here and mark it and then connect it to the shoulder that now this is where it gets interesting i'm going to slash it open all the way so i'm going to open and so i can close the waist that Now I'm going to close my waist dart, my shoulder dart rather, and close it all the way. So that I can still have a flat pattern while I do this. Okay, so um, from this shoulder point, I'm going to open it about three inches or two and a half. Okay, two and a half inches. And then on the center front, I'm going to go down by. Uh, so there's a V part of this, um, like that goes like this in the picture. I'm not going to open it yet because I need to see how high I need the neck to be. This is the so long. So I'm going to use centimeters now. Okay, so I'm going to go down about five cm to open up the neckline or four, four cm to open up the neckline and then connect it to my two and a half. That is basically half of the shoulder length. 
I don't know if you can see what I'm showing. I feel like, yeah. So I'm going to connect this. Now from here, I'm going to open it by 1 cm. Right? That means by the time I open it up, it's going to be 2 centimeters. That's very wide. Okay, so I'm going to open it by half a centimeter because I'm still going to use facing or the lining to open it. So I'm still going to open a bit more. So I'm going to use half a centimeter and to roll it down close to the chest line. I want this to be a princess seam that is coming from the shoulder or on the armhole rather. So from here, I'm going to map out the shape. But first, I'm going to measure what I have in the armhole and then get to midpoint so that I can connect it to the shoulder that my time I close up here, this dot that has transferred from the shoulder to the side is onto the bust is going to transfer to the armhole. And that way, there's going to be like more closing around here. By the way, this is a Natalie Bray pattern. So that's what I'm using. I There's someone who has a very detailed tutorial on how to achieve this pattern and I would link it below. All right. Okay, so the armhole is 22 centimeters. That means 11 cm for the midpoint, right? Uh, I'm going to mark that. Okay. So 11 cm for the midpoint. Now I'm going to connect that. I'm going to draw a straight line to this bust point or the true bust line. So that I can achieve a nice um, princess slope. I don't want to put it here because I think it'll be too high. So I'm going to take it to the lower. Right. Now I'm going to measure this line. That's 15 and a half centimeters. I'm going to get the midpoint, which is 7, 5 length, um, 7 point six seven and try okay and then i'm going to go up by one centimeter from that point that midpoint i'm going to go up by one centimeter and then connect my princess or the slope with my curved ruler at uh, this um this is done i'm going to open up the shoulder and then close up the space because this was just a temporary transfer and then cut uh, this is where I'm going to be cutting out for my princess. Now, see what I'm saying about the princess? So, this is already giving me that princess shape. So, by the time I close up here and cut this open, you see how full the dart is there. Now, I'm just going to close up this, my temporary slash that I put here to transfer this shoulder dart and get my neckline. So I'm going to close that up and then continue the way I was doing. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get my shoulder um, width. Now the front is about 2.5 inches. So I'm going to do the same. 2.5 inches from here. Usually I'm going to measure my 2.5 inches from the shoulder point so that the front and the back um, shoulder line can match when I'm sewing them together. So, one, two, and a half. Now, for the neckline, I'm not going to go too low because it's going to be an open back and I need something to still hold on to her neck. So, I'm going to be using this slanted um, center back. It's, <sighs> it's the slanted center back I'm going to be using so that it has more fitting at the back. Right. So I'm going to go down a few centimeters, about 3 cm, or 2 cm should be fine, right, 2 cm, and I'm going to connect them.
to determine how open I want the bag to be. So I wanted to I want to still have something here that is um something to connect to the front. So I don't want to cut off the armhole or cut off any part of it. So I'm probably going to go in about two in two centimeters or three cm. Right? Yes. Three cm from here. And I'm going to put buttons at this side so that she can pin it and then here it's going to be open so i'm going to open it about 5 cm yes. and now i'm going to connect it here so all this is going to be an open back so i'm going to draw the shape that i want and trace it then and i'm happy with it i'm going to open it i'm sure that i can Okay. So, as you can see, this is going to be an open back situation. So, I'm going to, I need here to not be so straight. So, I'm going to go down about 2 cm from here. Still on my slanted, this is like the straight line, this is my slanted center back. So, I'm going to go down 2 cm. Yeah. And then use my ruler to connect it to the first line. Oh, this is going to be difficult. Okay, so this is the open back. Now, because I've cut into this um, that line that I use, I'm going. To, I need here to, you know, be firmer so that it doesn't start um, swimming or having gaps. So I'm going to open it up by one centimeter so that is half centimeter on both sides right and then connect it back to my waist back this is just so that it is really nice and fitted and there's nothing swimming anywhere now another thing is another thing is that this um uh this this line isn't straight so by the time i join here and here or i cut it out it's not going to be equal so now i'm going to fold it and match them and see where you know something is missing and reconnect it uh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh what do you know it's not this one is not so obvious so you can Easily ignore it, but I'm still going to straighten it out. Right. So that's for that. Now for this upper part, the gapy thing also happens because the whole body has ease for a full back so that you can move. But by the time you're cutting out here, here is going to um, be a bit bigger than you, you need. So for this part, I'm still going to draw a small slash line and I'm going to open it that of about one centimeter or two centimeters that's one centimeter on each line now i'm connecting it to the shoulder um to the shoulder line because i think that will be where i can easily uh, close it without having too much of an issue so i'm going to open it by one centimeter on each side so that it's nice and fitted and draw the guide legs The best part about the clothes or I like about looking at clothes is the fitting. So obviously I'm going to add something extra here so that I can overlap for my buttons and everything. But that's like when I'm adding my allowances. So by the time I cut out this place, um, I'm going to use a different fabric for this top side. So I'm going to cut it all the way from the um, bust line. I'm cutting here as one piece and here as another piece. So I'll cut it out here. So for now, I'm going to close this back. Again, they wouldn't align because of the slope. It's not exactly exactly a straight line. So I'm going to close this back to the other side and connect them. Okay. Uh, then I cut it out just to that so that I don't squeeze it too much. 
so i've already marked this out with the marker i put my balanced marks or notches in these places so that when i'm sewing them together i don't sew it anyhow so this is the front i'm going to close the shoulder that so that it transfers all the way to here and this is the back so now you can see the obvious open back here this is the that i'm going to close later and then the center back and the side back i'm going to cut off here so it's not one piece i'm going to cut it off and do something extra here for the final dress so now i'm going to cut this out add my similar ones and set them aside then i'm going to show you how i will achieve the skirt or the lower part of this dress So this is my complete bodice for the front and the back. This is a complete bodice block and I will add my similar ones and check out the feet on the model and then show you how it looks. Okay, so this is the um the skirt part of the dress. I cut it, I retraced it from here. Let me show you. I traced it from here here. Because I was going to do it separately, but I decided not to, then I decided to again. Don't mind me. So, um, I'm going to do the back, and what I'm doing here is the same thing I'm going to do for the front part. So, for the back, I'm going to get my hip line and then my knee line, and I'll attach some more paper for my ankle line because the dress is going to stop at the ankle. So, since this is a straight skirt, uh, from the knee, the main, sorry, from my knee, um, my knee, the waist to knee measurement is about 22 inches. So I reduced it to 20 inches. That is two inches above the knee so that it can have a better fit. Yes, that. So on the knee line, I'm going to also kind of snatch it. This is one of the easiest ways to achieve this, but it's not the only way to achieve it. So on the knee line, I'm going to go in one and a half inches. That is from um, the side, one and a half inches. And this is the straight skirt part, so it's got to be straight all the way from here, one and a half inches. And I'm going to really straight line. So from this hip line, I'm going to connect it to my one and a half inch here. I'm going to connect it to this one and a half inch. So from my hip line to the one and a half. So, this is what I'm going to have here. This is my um, shaping at the knee so that it's not too um, straight all the way from the waist. It has a little bit of shape. Now, this is all I'm going to do for the back. I'm going to transfer my dart and my zip allowance, the same amount I used for the bodies. Now, for the front, because this is exactly the same thing I'm doing at the front, the only thing is that this um, piece has a slit in front. So, for the front, where my dart is, I'm going to extend that dark leg, that is this middle line, all the way to the end or to the ankle. So I'm going to draw a straight line. This is the back, but I'm going to do this for the front so that I don't have to like, get another paper. Now, when I get this line at the front, I'm going to cut it off. So from my dart, I'll cut it. This is my side back. So you can also use this for like if, um, a gore or six pieces skirt or whatever. So that's what I'm going to do for the front. I'm going to cut out the dot so that I will have space for my slit. Mark where I want the slit to stop 
that is notched that side and then cut it all the way to the ankle like i said i'm going to be adding another piece of paper to get to the ankle length so that is it for this pattern i'm going to test it out on a fabric to see the fit and then show you what it looks like and any adjustments i'm going to make so this is um what it looks like obviously i used a sample fabric to show what it's going to look like eventually so this is the front actually i'm liking the fit on the mannequin but this is not how it's going to fit on the model obviously so there'll probably be adjustments let me show you the back and this is the back of the dress nice and same yeah uh i would prefer a longer length but yeah this looks cool to me so thank you so much for watching my videos i hope to see you next time because i'll keep improving bye